Welcome students, welcome parents, welcome friends and supporting cast. When I was a student, many of us were told, look to the left, look to the right, 50% of you will not be here at graduation. I'm now pleased to tell you that not only will 50% of you be here at graduation, but 50% of you will be here many years past graduation, particularly with the L system. No parents, Yale's not the school for slow learners. Rather, it's a place where there's a lifetime investment for exceptional students, but with exceptional expectations bestowed simultaneously. This additional time will not be frittered away. The lack of grades and the Yale curriculum are not intended to give you protracted relaxation. They will only free you to exercise your industrious nature, extend your reach past your current imagination, and stimulate those around you with your questions and insights. Our job is to help you develop the empathy to understand the human condition of your patients while simultaneously helping you acquire the tools to think critically about their health. Although we all have a huge interest and investment in your education, no one here at Yale nor at home will be waking in the morning trying to figure out how to make your day more interesting, what experiences you personally need to become the physician you desire, or where your steps should be precisely placed to achieve your aspirations. Our function is to provide you the sophisticated foundation and conceptual framework for you to develop and test expanding comprehension of medicine so that you can become the master of your education. Regardless of the path that your career takes, the advancement of medical science and the care of patients are inextricably linked. The habits cultivated by formulating and pursuing an important question through a thesis here can foster the very qualities that make you a better physician. When you become deeply invested in the questions prompted by the care of your patients and demonstrate curiosity and an intrepid pursuit of these, coupled with compassion, your patients will recognize this and benefit from that deep interest. When I started at Yale Medical School, I did not recall any reception or white coat ceremony, but certainly remember my first days of classes. I was simply overwhelmed and in awe of my classmates. Although I could name most of the major body parts, I was lost in the details of anatomy. Perhaps my most humbling moment occurred during my first rotation in surgery. I apparently was not a stellar student there. When I received my evaluation from the chief of service, he let me know in a cordial way that perhaps this was not the field for me. <laughs> I said, you mean surgery? No, his look made me think he meant medicine. <laughs> I was demoralized. My confidence and spirits were at their lowest. However, I was fortunately assigned to pediatrics next and in short order found my home. I had helped care for an infant with severe congenital heart disease and watched a cardiac catheterization to figure out the nature of her abnormality. She had a tragic outcome, but I was mesmerized by the utter challenge to understand the complexities of oxygenating her tissues that were created by her abnormal anatomy. My questions were welcome. I was told that it could not be readily answered, but they might be the basis for a study. I was told that I might want to pursue this, then two pediatric cardiologists, who subsequently became lifetime friends, proposed me for a research uh, project and a fellowship at another institution, which I was fortunate enough to receive. I was fascinated by the problem given to me, stayed up all night, proposed a possible solution, and then started to build equipment to test the solution, while my mentor headed for a research meeting. I was hooked forever. This actually became my thesis, my first publication, and suddenly my career had challenge, momentum, and direction. So what's the message? 
I discovered my path here, not by deliberation, not by deliberate planning, but by serendipity, because of the generosity of spirit from those around me and the unrelenting expectation that I would find my way given the freedom to explore. I have no doubt that each of you can savor the very same spirit. Take a risk and follow something fascinating. This is your opportunity to do that. You are the next generation of this field and our best hope for shaping medicine and healthcare in the future. Your vast talents brought you to this point. Each time you don your white coat, you have an obligation and a privilege to make this world better. We're counting on you. Good luck.